My dear brothers and sisters, in the last verse of today's gospel, Jesus reminds us, whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5 chapter 19 Two things are involved here. First one is to obey. Why must we obey the commandments? Firstly, because they are given by God. Out of reverence for God, we must follow what He commands. If we consider Him as our Father, then it is becoming on our part to obey Him. Our obedience to God is the proof of our love towards Him. Because Jesus has said, If you love me, keep my commandments. John 14 verses 15 Secondly, because commandments are the moral instructions given for our well-being, they are binding on us. If we obey them, we become good people. If not, we become we become bad people. Anything that makes us good has to be followed. Second is to teach. Why must we teach the commandments? Firstly, because it is our duty to teach our younger ones. We have been taught and now it's our turn to teach others. Parents to their children, teachers to their students, formators to their formatees, elders to their younger ones. It is our, our moral obligation to teach others. Secondly, because if we do not teach others, to follow God's commandments, then the world will teach to follow Satan's instructions. Dear friends, God has given ten commandments to follow, but the world has hundred ways to break them down. A person who is ignorant of the good will end up doing what is evil. If we observe the sequence of the words we see, Jesus forces obey and then says, teach. That must remind us of the fact that in order to teach others, we must first obey them in our lives. We have no moral authority to teach others what we ourselves do not follow. If we do so, we will be hypocrites. The integrity of a person depends upon a conformity between what he lives and what he teaches. Let us pray that God may give us the strength to obey His commandments, practice in our lives and teach others. Amen. God bless you.